All right, y'all, breathe with me. Some of y'all are feeling better already. Uh, sometimes we, we forget to just sit back and do something as easy as breathing because you know we got so much work to do, we got so many people in our head, and we got so much going on around us all the time that we really forget just to get back down to the basics and just remember to take some deep breaths and just to really take your scenario in, take everything that's around you in. Uh, look at the leaves, see what color they are. Look at the look at the ground, see if there's any snow on there. Breathe in the air. Let me know how it smells. Eat your food. Tell me how it tastes. These are all things that uh, that contribute to mindfulness, and this is very important just to get yourself back in that moment. Uh, now, the title of this video is "How to Start Accepting and Loving Yourself Today." Uh, so, I understand that a lot of you who have made it uh, to this video uh, are probably going through a tough time, and and if you are, I just want to let you know that I'm with you. Um, this could be the start of both of our journeys, all of our journeys to a better place, a better place mentally, and uh, a better place in our lives, and a better place for those around us too. Uh, I have been watching a lot of YouTube videos uh, on this subject, the subject of loving yourself and accepting yourself, and uh, I've compiled a lot of great tips from a lot of these guys, and I'm also here to talk about some of the things that uh, I disagreed with. Uh, one of the common themes that I saw on these videos was to find your happy place. And uh, I quickly just thought to myself, if I had a happy place and if I knew where it was, why the hell would I have to be on this YouTube video for? Am I right? So um, it took me a few days to, to find it, but right off the bat, I had no idea what made me happy. What uh, what is this one thing that I could do that would make me happy all the time? Like I mean, I like to go to the driving range, hit a couple of golf balls, but uh, it's winter time right now. I won't be able to do that. Uh, another n initial thing that popped into my head was uh, was swimming because I like to swim and uh, I like to swim not just because it's great exercise but I don't have my phone with me and I'm in the water it's active uh, the only thing I need to worry about in that water is to move my body and to, to breathe and that's it and uh, and, that, and that's great it's another great mindfulness exercise right there um, so I would write it down, think about it for the next few days. If you have a happy place, if you if there's something you like to do, maybe you like to read, maybe you like to rock climb, uh, go for it, uh, you know what I mean? And uh, also another thing that I forgot to mention was to, uh, if you had a phone with you right now, please get rid of it. Uh, I threw it, I made a draft of my video before, I threw it over there just to kind of make a point. So I'm kind of just gonna do that again. So here's my phone, I'm gonna toss it because this is healing time, this is time for ourselves. We don't need anything that's going to cause us any anxiety. We don't need anything that's going to cause us any distractions from what we need to do. And that's to really start accepting and loving ourselves today. So I made a quick list uh, of things that we could start doing. And uh, I guess the first thing on that list is what we did at the beginning of the video is to sit back and breathe. Take deep breaths. Focus on your breath. Uh, it's, it's one of the, uh, the main components of, of meditation. And if you can meditate... Uh, then try to meditate because it, it, it will be it's a great exercise to really bring you back into the moment and get rid of any anxieties that you have any fears about the future any regrets about the past you'll just let it go and just breathe and focus on your breaths in and out uh, uh, one of the things that I that I thought of and uh, I'm not sure if I, I saw this in any other videos but was to First, take the step to love everything that you do because I mean sometimes it's not easy to love ourselves and that's why we're on this video but we can take baby steps and uh, what I mean is love yourself for every little thing you do so something as simple even as uh, flossing your teeth in the morning uh, tell yourself hey look I love you for taking care of yourself thank you for flossing your teeth uh, when you go to work or when you go somewhere to the mall, uh, thank you for holding the door for that old lady. You know, I mean, uh, thank you for doing that. Uh, and she thanks you for doing that. Uh, thank you for asking your coworker how their day was. Thank you for making them feel important. You know, thank you for being a good person in that sense. Uh, and eventually you'll find that you are a great person. And there is, well, there really is just one of us out here, right? Uh, there's no other one of us around. And we need to appreciate that about us. There's nobody else out there with the same DNA coding as us. And that's something we need to appreciate about ourselves. 
another simple step on how to love and accept yourself today uh, is a really small step and uh, to me it's to create a little happy playlist for yourself uh, I'm a DJ so this is very important to me I love music um, so put it to, put together maybe a list of like about five or six songs uh, I wouldn't recommend actually putting these songs on your on your phone I would suggest maybe investing in a cheap iPod shuffle or something like that you can carry around with you because uh, I'm really gonna try to get people to minimize their use of their cell phones I'm gonna make a video in the future regarding uh, the use of cell phones and how it's such a major cause of anxiety for people these days and well a major catalyst for uh, for anxiety these days and um, it really helps or sorry it really distracts us from the current environment that we're in uh, and, and everything around us so we're living in a world uh, sadly of instant gratification and the least we use our cell phones the least we check our cell phones even when it doesn't vibrate and we know that there's nothing in there we still check it out why do we do that it's it's crazy it's ludicrous but anyways create that happy playlist for yourself my happy playlist I got uh, Damien Marley uh, featuring Nas Road to Zion uh, Just Don't Want to Be Lonely by Marsha Griffiths a little bit of 90s dance, Fats and Small, Turn Around, Coldplay, Paradise, great song. Uh, Mayor Hawthorne, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Mayor Hawthorne, but they're a modern band that makes music similar to uh, the Motown sound, the 70s sound, and I love them. Uh, I think it's absolutely fantastic. The song is called The Walk. Uh, and then another song, maybe a song to pump you up, something that maybe you would work out to or something that makes you feel good about yourself, something that makes you feel like a certified gangster, you know what I mean? And my song is The Ghetto Boys, Damn It Feels Good to Be a Gangster. Cause you know what damn it does feel good to be a gangster sometimes uh and it feels good to really feel like um a big g and to really make sure you get your business done right and that's the world that i came from and, and that's a great song it's also came from one of my favorite movies too and that's office space uh, another thing that we really got to stop doing is to stop comparing yourself to other people uh i one example that i can use um and this kind of brings me back to my other point about being healthy and, and taking care of yourself and thanking yourself for everything you do every day. Which, by the way, I forgot to mention that uh, if you do thank yourself and love yourself for these little things that you do every single day, you'll find that you do a lot of great things, man, uh, or woman, and that you should be appreciated for this. And you know what? Other people do appreciate you for this. So you know what? I appreciate you for this. And, uh, and keep it up. Keep it up. Keep thanking yourself. Keep loving yourself because you know what? I love you. We all love you. Your family loves you. Your friends love you. Everybody loves you. Anyways, uh, my example was um, to... I wanted to talk about getting back in the gym because uh, I really wasn't taking good care of myself for the last year and change. And uh, I really hasn't, wasn't going to the gym. I wasn't eating well at all. So like, we really want to start taking care of our bodies because if we love ourselves, we'll take care of ourselves. Just like if we have a girlfriend or boyfriend and we love them, we want to take care of them. So if you love yourself, take care of yourself. Uh, but uh, the gym was is it was a hard thing for me to get back into because I had problems with uh, I guess self image because uh, I'm not the, I mean I'm not the biggest guy or I can barely bench a plate I can barely squat a plate so you go to a gym around five six o'clock it's really busy a lot of people around a lot of a lot of big guys around can lift a lot of weight uh, they can bench two plates uh, squat three at least deadlift four it's not a problem for them they actually take up all the damn plates in the gym sometimes. But uh, but what we do, what we, what we as humans tend to do sometimes is that we overvalue other people sometimes, and we tend to undervalue ourselves. And, uh, and and by example, I mean, we look at them; they're able to lift so much, or at least I'm. I look at them; they're able to lift so much, and I'm like, wow, they're really strong. You know what I mean? Like maybe for a second, I'd like to switch bodies or switch places with that person. But you should never think like that. Because you don't know uh, what the downsides of their life are, right? What struggles that they've gone through to get to where they're at. Like, I mean, this is me at day one. This is me just getting back in the gym. Who knows that I, I maybe I can do that one day. And if I can, it's okay. Just got to accept it. And uh, and that's another hard thing too. And uh, is to accept yourself. And that's the other half of this video. Uh, going off on a little bit of a tangent here. Uh, accepting yourself. Sometimes you need to accept and forgive yourself because I know some of you guys are here because uh, of something that you may have done something that you're not proud of maybe something that other people aren't proud of that you did either and uh, we got to keep living you know life goes on and you don't want to live with this heavy burden on your back all the time so you know even if it's hard to forgive yourself even if no one is going to forgive you you have to forgive yourself and the first way first thing to do about that is to accept that whatever happened happened and then uh, eventually hopefully you can let it go and then the second step is to really try to forgive yourself just tell yourself I forgive you and for me I think the most important thing about forgiving yourself really is to uh, 
acknowledge that okay I'm here now uh, after what I did I may feel like I'm here now but from now on I'm just gonna go up, up from here and I'm gonna make the best of the situation and uh, what everyone may have thought was a tragic situation or was a big tragedy and, and uh, was such a, a bad situation maybe it'll be something good uh, maybe it'll turn out to be something good uh, a, a video that I watched yesterday that really inspired me about this point was um, the, the farmer story. Uh, it was done by Prince EA. I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name, but ch check it out. Prince EA, the farmer story. And it's really about don't let other people dictate whether or not it's a bad situation for you or not. Uh, you never know if a, a, a good situation can come out of a bad and a bad situation can, can come out of a good. And you should never just really just be so down in the dumps about uh, what just happened. Uh, anyways, back back to uh, comparing yourself with others. Um, one thing that's really important and is one thing that we need to always remember is to never let another person or other people value you or place a value on you because everyone's always going to place a different value on you. Everyone's always going to put a different price tag on you. Of course, your parents, uh, your, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, I mean, they're always going to value you highly. Hopefully, if they're good, if if you're with a good partner, if you're you know if you're with a really positive family members, they're all they're always value you high. But uh, but would a coworker, just a mere coworker, would they value you as high as them? No. Uh, would a stranger value you as high as uh, someone who knows you? I don't think so. So the problem with this is that when we have so many different price tags from other people uh, that they throw on us, we won't even know what we're worth. What are we worth? So you know what? You you got to be the one that puts that price tag on yourself. You got to value yourself. And uh, and hopefully after this video, you'll value yourself a little higher than what you were valuing yourself maybe before this video. And you know what? I'm going to give you a high price tag. Man, you might even be too expensive for me to buy. But uh but I really believe in all you guys cuz you guys are on the on the path to to self-help and and to self-actualization and, and really not everyone does that. So kudos to you guys. Uh, another thing, and it kind of goes hand in hand with uh, the stop comparing yourself to other people, is to stop mind reading. So, like, when I'm in the gym, sometimes, back to that example, is that I look at other people and they, they might be looking at me just like benching like uh, less than a plate or whatever, or like squatting less than a plate, and, they, and I think that they think that I'm, I'm, I'm weak or that I can't do it, or they're, they might be laughing at me and stuff like that, but do I know that? No, I don't know that. Uh, am I a mind reader? No, I never went to school for that crap. I wasn't born with any gifts. Well, in well, I was born with gifts, so I just want to give, give that shout out to my mom. But I was not born with the gift of mind reading, so we don't want to do that. Uh, and often, that's not what other people are thinking at all. That's what we're thinking about ourselves, and we need to stop that immediately. We need to cut that thought at the root immediately, and uh, we really need just to get in there and do what we got to do and. Uh, and not worry about what other people think because you know what sometimes we have so many thoughts in our own head that we can't even worry about what we think we don't have time to worry about what someone else thinks so really if you find yourself really mind reading and uh, thinking about what other people are thinking about you and saying about you just just let it go don't worry about it it, it doesn't matter it's not important and the people who matter around you and the positive people around you will always think highly of you and these are the people you need to keep around uh, the last thing uh, and it's something really simple too is just to inspire yourself and that's it and uh, I mean I watched a lot of videos where uh, people were telling me to look in the mirror and tell yourself you love yourself I love I love you I love you I love you maybe 20 30 times and stuff like that but I want to take it to another level uh, you know what I mean I'm, I'm a big sports guy I watch a lot of sports uh, I'm inspired by guys like Kobe Bryant who have such killer instincts, such tenacity, such drive to win, and and he's willing to put in the hard work to win it too. Uh, so I, I would recommend if you don't watch sports to watch some of these documentaries of some of these great players uh, of uh, I mean of Brett Favre, uh, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant. You'll be inspired by some of these guys and and their will to win. Uh, they never thought that they couldn't do it, even though other people thought that they couldn't do it. They never thought they couldn't do it. Like, I mean, of course they've got the talent, but so do you you got talent as well and if you work on your craft you put those 10,000 hours in to master something you could be that great of course you could be that great who says you can't be that great I didn't say you couldn't be great so what I want you guys to do is to really get in front of the mirror and don't just say you love yourself man make it look like you love yourself. you need to really mean it okay guys I talking about I love myself I'm feeling myself I'm here, I'm here to change the world. I'm here to do whatever I can. I accept myself, I love myself. I love everything that I'm gonna do. 
You're a handsome beast. You're a sexy beast. You can do it. You know, I beat that chest. I love myself. I love myself. You know what I mean? Go crazy a little bit. Because, you know, the world needs more crazy. The world needs more people who really just do things out of the ordinary and, and really just feel good about themselves. So, you know what? If you need to, uh, hopefully your roommates don't think you're crazy, but just yell. Just be like, yes, I love myself. You know what I mean? And, uh, and really just, just really just pump yourself up. Pump yourself up. Like, just, just get ready. You're about to play in the Super Bowl every single day. And it's a blessing. Life is a blessing. Treat yourself well. So, uh, I mean, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to help other people. Because, like I said, I'm on this journey, too. This is the start of a journey for me. And just as it is for you guys. And if I can help you guys, it'll help inspire me. Because back to my thing about the, the happy place. This is my happy place. My happy place is to help people. My happy place is to help you. So thank you for coming. Thank you for joining me in my happy place. Uh, feel free to leave any comments about what you may be going through. I would love to get back to you. I would love to connect with you and let you know that you're not alone. Let you know that I'm here for you. So subscribe to my videos. Hopefully I have the passion and the commitment like I have today to put these videos out again. Hopefully I can do maybe about two a week, maybe once a week, maybe once every other week. But uh, I, I'm going to get out there. You know, I really want to share my message. I really want to help you guys. And in, and in turn, helping you guys helps myself too. And when you help yourself, when you love yourself, you help other people around you. You make other lives around you positive. And when you love yourself, then you can love other people. Because many relationships fail because people do not love themselves first. And if you don't love yourself first, how are you going to love other people? So anyways, stay tuned for my next few videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Bless.